Hey everyone, welcome to Fablecraft Friday. I'm Joey from Riftweaver and I'm here with this week's update for Fablecraft. And we're gonna be talking about a lot of stuff that's coming with the next update that we're dropping for the game. So we're very close to iPad release. Um, of course, Fablecraft will be cross-platform, cross-play. You'll be able to log into the same account that you use right now on Steam on the iPad when that comes out really soon. And when I say soon, I mean within a matter of weeks. We haven't nailed down the release date just yet, but it is coming right around the corner and we already have it running on iPad. We've had it running on iPad for a while now. We've been testing it, playing it, making sure it works well. And as soon as we're able to get it up and launched, we'll let you know. But the iPad isn't the only thing that's launching when we actually launch this next version of the game. It's going to have its own update. And that update's going to come with a bunch of quality of life changes and social stuff that a lot of our players have been asking for ever since launch. And so we're going to identify three of those things that are definitely coming with the update when it drops. We're going to talk about them today in this week's video and in, of course in this week's blog. If you want the blog in written form, by the way, it's below in the description. So first up for this update is actually stackable consumables. You'll see me using the curative cordial here. That's our potion, one of the potions right now. I believe it heals for 15 HP. Uh, currently, if you're playing the game, you really only have six inventory slots. That's three for items and three for gear. Those inventory slots, that counts not growing, but we wanted to make sure people could hold on to consumables and actually stack them up and carry a lot more potions than just say one. You know, If you wanna be able to heal in combat, maybe you don't wanna use the self heal, which doesn't heal for as much as the curative cordial. Uh, you might want to have more than one pot in your inventory and currently in the game if you want to do that you have to occupy multiple inventory slots so stackable consumables means that you'll be able to stack up curative cordials and you'll see that here in the inventory screenshot that we've been staring at right now there are four curative cordials here on this person's inventory and then if we jump over to the combat scene you'll also see that the curative cordials are also stacked on the action bar so there they are again there's four of them and they're ready to use just like they currently are, except when you use it once, you'll have three more left. This doesn't just apply to curative cordials. All consumables are stackable, so think like Starfall fragments and stuff like that. And as we add more consumables to the game, they'll get this feature as well. This is a nice quality of life thing that a lot of players have been asking for, and we're really glad that we're able to deliver it alongside the iPad. So with this next feature, we're actually introducing two of the three things. So first of all, we're giving players access to a nice, uh, menu for when they're actually sitting in game and they want to do something social, I guess you could say, like add a friend, uh, view a character sheet, block sir said friend, or, you know, report them. Maybe a player needs reporting. All of that now exists on the right click menu. It exists in other places as well. Uh, but this right click menu that we're showing off here in the actual game. So this menu currently, if you're a player, not a GM, uh, right click doesn't do anything. If you're a GM, it brings up an, a menu that just says edit and it lets you edit the, the character, give them shields or health. Uh, but with this update that's coming, you're gonna see the menu that we're showing off now. And it's gonna make it so that you can actually friend in game if you're playing with strangers maybe you know not everybody's a friend with the gm you can add friends this way um, if someone's being really pesky and obnoxious you can block them and make sure that the communication stops and if they're doing something really inappropriate you can report them um, we're bringing out a larger suite of safety tools this update and we'll be able to talk about that down the line but Blocking and reporting are pretty important ones and we're bringing them here. Um, we know folks on Discord have wanted this. People have asked for it. We're glad that it's coming. It's kind of the Fablecraft expands. We want to make sure that we have the social tools in place to support lots of players doing lots of different things and blocking and reporting is one of them. Those reports come into our team and we have multiple people taking care of it and making sure that players are playing and interacting safely. So please use block and report as you need. Um, they're here to keep our community thriving. As for the iPad release date, we will have that for you as soon as we can share. Uh, once we know when it's coming, we'll make sure to share with you folks. Like I said, it's it's within weeks. We're really close. And um, we're just kind of putting in the final touches right now and making sure that it's all QA'd and stable and up to Apple standards, of course, once it hits the App Store. Um, after we're done with the iPad version, we'll move on to the Android tablet version. That'll be out and then we'll move to mobile and we'll go iOS and Android again. Um, and that will be all the platforms that we currently have announced, at least the ones that we're definitely planning for um, with Fablecraft. So you're gonna be able to play with cross-play and cross-platform um, on PC, Mac, via Steam um, on iPad and Android tablets, and then of course on iOS and Android mobile devices. Um, and this works both in person and remotely, uh, which has been the dream for Fablecraft ever since we started doing this thing. Uh, we're really looking forward to getting it on tablet. It feels really good, by the way. It's a pretty magical experience. 
Now, we have a lot of other really cool stuff in the pipeline. Of course, we have our roadmap. Um, we've been doing a lot of internal discussion about what we should be cooking up next, um, and it's all coming really soon. So our roadmap might get updated here in the near future. And of course, once we update that, we'll share it with you as soon as possible. But we're listening. We're listening to all your feedback, and we know which features you folks really want to see from us. Uh, we're working on them. Uh, thanks for being a part of Fablecraft and a part of this early access journey. Um, you can always join us on Discord. It's discord.gg slash Fablecraft. I'm It's Joey. And say hi. And if you want to provide feedback or request features, really encourage you to do that on our feedback site. That's fableCraft.featureupvote.com. We check that every day and then we review it as a team once a month and stuff that's been upvoted um, and commented on a lot. We make sure we talk about and get into our backlog if it's something that we want to do for Fablecraft as well. And I think I've said this before, but if you're new here, um, it's pretty cool that our, our fans, our players, you folks actually pretty much align with what we want from this game as well. We think um, the vision is shared. And so we're really happy to be working with you on this whole thing and this crazy early access journey that we're on. That's it for Fablecraft Friday. I will see you next week. <laughs>